All right, standing next to me is Pilot Paul with All In Aviation. And actually, I should say the President Pilot Paul. That's a lot of P's. I guess so. <laughs> but thank you for being here today. We're super happy to finally open up our new space uh, to, to the community, to our customers, and to those that have been enthusiastically supporting everything that we've done here at the Henderson Airport. Yeah, so you've been in business for about a year, or at this location for this a location. year? Yeah, yeah. This location, we finally got our certificate of occupancy April 17th of 2020. So this is almost to the date, 365 days later. So that was right in the middle, when, of, it all. The middle of it all. So walk me through, during that time, how were you feeling? What was the team feeling? Were you nervous? Were you scared? Sure. Yeah, so we were in the in the closing stretches of, of construction, right? We were literally on the one yard line, almost to the touchdown, and we were quite literally falling into this subcontractors not showing up for work because unemployment was now all of a sudden paying more than these these people that were finishing up the trades to get the building done. So we were we were a little bit stressed out that this was actually going to happen after we had spent all this time, effort, money in making it happen. Um, our contractor, NDL, God bless them, uh, they got us right across the finish line. We, we finished up and moved in, albeit it was a subdued, you know, we couldn't have our grand opening, um, but uh, we were able to open for business and start renting aircraft and conducting flight training right away uh, because we fell under some federal guidelines for, for flight instruction. So we were able to hit the ground running. Yeah, well, tell me about that because while well, some of the businesses obviously were struggling during the pandemic, it seemed like there were people that were coming to you because I don't know if they had the time or what they were thinking. Sure. But tell me about the people that actually people started to show up, right? And your business started taking off. Yeah, so what, what, it takes two things to learn how to fly. It takes time and money. So the people that had money that typically don't have a lot of time suddenly had a lot of time in their day. So these are uh, bucket list items that people have always wanted to achieve to, to, to become a pilot. And this gave them the opportunity to actually take that time and do something that they always wanted to do. So people were coming out of the woodwork, uh, wanting to, to fill their time. And, and we sort of catered to, to a business owner, uh, somebody that might be later in life that, that really wants to, to fly in an aircraft that's very similar to your, your car. Um, so all the features are you know, futuristic and modern, very technologically advanced. So we, we make sure that we have aircraft that are very comparable to that. So I was talking to some of your team, and I was told that you can, on your first lesson, uh -huh. you were literally flying. Like, yeah. you are handling the aircraft. Is yeah. that true? Oh, absolutely. That makes me nervous, man. <laughs> yeah, so the, the instructor might do all the talking, right? But you're physically going to be at the controls because by hour 40, you need to be to the point where you're ready to go and take a test. So we want you to start on day one where you're at least getting the basic feel of, of airmanship. Um, so yeah, absolutely, our instructors fly with people that are very, very um, advanced in their pilot training and very, very beginner basic. So we, we try to cater to all different uh, skill levels. So tell me, Paul, where did this all come from? Where did, was this a dream of yours? I mean, because I think you're looking now a year, I don't know if you've been able to reflect on everything that's <laughs> happened you know, all that you've accomplished. I mean, looking down at all of these hangars and your planes and your beautiful facility, was this something that you, I mean, was a passion, was a dream of yours? Um, I mean, I, I went to school to be an airline pilot and then September 11th happened and there was no airline jobs. So I sort of shifted gears by just going down the road to where I went to college in North Dakota. Um, in Duluth, Minnesota, they make these airplanes and it, it sort of shifted my, my view because I got to sit shoulder to shoulder with people that were buying these airplanes and it came to the realization that there wasn't really anything particularly special about these people other than they had the hustle, the tenacity, the hard work, they busted their butt. And these guys were buying brand new airplanes and it sort of gave me the, aha, I'm, I can work hard. I mean, this, this is really all that it takes. There's no special sauce other than a little bit of grit. And um, that sort of shifted my gear from, do I really want to be a bus driver in the air? Or do I want to s figure out a way to be part of this uh, you know, personal transportation? So um, that's where we moved to Vegas, started selling airplanes to sort of get in that community. And instantly we realized that Henderson was, was lacking with hangars and with high end sort of flight instruction. So, if you see a void, uh, we, we decided that it was time for us to fill it, and um, 
that's what you're seeing here today. So tell me a little bit about like what you have going on tonight. Um, this is kind of like to me, I would think is your grand opening <laughs> slash right celebration. Uh, we're actually going to have a grand opening. Um, it'll probably be later this year when we're actually allowed to have more than 200 people um, in a room together and have some dignitaries make some speeches. But this is the first time we're publicly able to have people in our space, see what we've accomplished, see our airplanes. Um, just to, to casually invite people to come and go. We've still got all the COVID protocols, so we're, we're very sensitive to making sure we don't have too many people at the same time. So it's been this long four hour duration where people come and go, and it's, as you can see, outdoors. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, it's a great day. I gotta admit, it's one year late, um, but it, better late than never. Um, here we are, so we're so glad that, uh, that as many people showed up as they did. Well, congratulations to you, and I know it's been a lot of hard work and just getting everything going. What success success advice or commentary do you want to give to anybody out there right now, especially in this climate and doing business, whether it's a business owner or anyone who's kind of struggling, what, what success advice do you have for them? Well, I mean, what's worked for me is just being able to, to look at the opportunities that are right within your realm of, of influence and control. I, I, I read and hear about all these people that want to do big, huge things that they want to learn about and then try to figure out a way to make that happen. But focus on the things that you're already good at and be the best at it. And, and then I, I think the rest of the, the community will recognize that you're separating yourself from the pack. That would be my two cents. I love it. And can I tell you, not only do we live in the neighborhood, but our seven-year-old son is an aviation nut. So I think he might be here on a regular basis at your pilot shop. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, it's open to anybody and everybody. So we hope to have you in the doors anytime soon. All right. Well, come on in. Micah, come right. and say hi. You want to this see? Is, this we... is pilot Paul here. How what do you, you think? Doing, buddy? You piss him up. What do you think? Yes, it is. He's tall. <laughs> You're tall. Well, thank you so much, Paul. You want to turn around and wave? Hey, well, thank you guys for going all in. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. So now it's time to unveil the masked man, the real <laughs> pilot Paul. Da da da. Hey. Yeah.